Fellow traders, today is Sunday, 25th of April 2021 and the time is 11.50 p.m. Welcome to our BBMA weekly analysis for the trading week of 26th to 30th of April 2021. Let's get started. Let's review our BBMA setup SOP. We're trading with 4 time frame weekly daily H1, H1. Our entry and exit will be in H4 and we trade 1% of our account per entry. We use trading view for our automation uh, to detect all the BBMA setup. Okay, let's look at last week trade performance. For the week starting from 18th of April, our account growth was minus 0.35%. So this is a uh, two consecutive loss in uh, April after the uh, decent win in the first week. We took three trades last week, two was stop out and one is closed with TP. Okay, let's go to trading view to see this week trade setup. We will start with DXY for our USD currency index guidance. As you can see here, uh, DXY is currently uh, below the MA510 low. So this is still a, uh, <coughs> this is a re-entry buy setup for us. So we will look for strength in DXY with the confirmation the lower time frame. On daily, we can see price starting to close inside the Bollinger Band, meaning the downward uh, momentum is, uh, the bearish momentum is getting weaker. And on H4, we can see uh, the price still close outside the Bollinger Band. And at the lower time frame, H1, also price start to close inside the Bollinger Band. So basically what we want to look for is to see the price uh, <coughs> come back inside the Bollinger Band and close above the top Bollinger Band for the bullish continuation of the USD currency. Alright, let's look at Euro USD for the first currency pair. For Euro USD, uh, on the weekly time frame, we can see price is at uh, have closed above the mid VB and currently this is a CSAK buy. However, however, based on our SOP, we want to look for the weakness to do a sell. Okay, so in daily time frame, we can see price is uh, not making any momentum over here. It's still close inside the Bollinger Band. This is MHV sell. And on H4, the momentum is still strong. Well, this is CSM buy. And on H1, price start to close inside the Bollinger Band. So what we want to do is, we want to wait for this to close uh, below the uh, low Bollinger Band. So we want to set alert for that using our custom indicator. CSM sell. And we want this to coincide with the uh, price closing below the EMA50. Alright, let's look at the second pair, uh, AUD USD. <laughs> For AUD USD on weekly time frame, uh, price is rejecting the MA510 high, which is uh, giving us the very good uh, re entry sell setup. On daily time frame, we can see we make an extreme sell now. Uh, price make a uh, extreme sell, TPW sell, and this is MHV sell on daily. On H4, however, uh, we have a downward movement, but we do not have the uh, CSM sell. So we we are not willing to sell if this thing happened because it's very risky. Price could bounce up and make a CSM buy. So. We want to wait for the CSM sell to confirm before we take any sell. Okay, so set our alert. CSM sell. Alright. Next pair will be uh, USD JPY. Starting at the weekly. Let me clear the chart. On weekly, price is currently at MA510 low, so this is re-entry by setup for us. Uh, daily, there is no CSM sell, so mean that the bearish movement is getting weaker. On H4, 
you can see price make a extreme buy so now it make a extreme buy dpw it, it currently we can take this as a mhv buy so the buy is not ready we need to wait for this to close above the top bb and take the pullback so we're gonna set alert csm buy at h4 and make sure it's above EMA 50 oops sorry typo okay now uh, next pair is GBP USD starting from weekly time frame we can see uh, GBP USD is rejecting this MA 510 high so this is a good re-entry sell setup for us on daily time frame uh, we see extreme sell uh, TPW price is currently making a MHV sell on H4 uh, we can see this is CSM sell price making a re-entry sell so uh, this is a quite decent uh, sell setup so you can put your sell entry at this region and put your stop here uh, above this high of this candle which is actually almost the almost the same level as the top Bollinger band so this will be the entry zone for uh, GBP USD to continue to go down so this will be probably something like this and you make a pullback and hopefully continue to go down so this is the trap plan for GBP USD uh, next pair uh, USD CAD for USD CAD on weekly time frame we can see price is uh, slowly closing inside the Bollinger Band after after this extreme buy TPW this is MHB buy so this is a buy setup for uh, USD CAD on daily time frame we can see price is making a uh, this is still a CSM sell it's not ready to buy yet on H4 however we see price making a CSM buy right and then after that there's a big candle bearish candle uh, CSK sell and currently this is a st this is a still valid um, re-entry buy setup so um, the buy setup will be uh, from the current price to the low of this week and we can put our stop uh, somewhere around here so very minimal stop loss to uh, hopefully see the price continue to move upward because this is CSM buy and we don't have CSM sell in play okay so that's USD CAD next pair will be USD chef starting at weekly time frame uh, sorry we can see this is a re-entry buy setup on daily we want to see a uh, strength okay uh, we have price closing below the MA50 however now it's making a uh, MHV buy you can see this uh, low is equal low this this is also a double bottom pattern for uh, chart pattern and we want to look at lower time frame uh, to see if we can have this candle kind of close above the top BB uh, basically something like this now it's making a CSM sell but we wait for it to close above the top BB make a pullback then we write it to the top so we want to set alert CSM buy at H4 and above EMA 50 all right that's the trade plan for USD CHF now last pair for this week will be NZD USD as usual uh, we can see uh, sorry on weekly time frame price is uh, at the MA 510 high this is a re-entry sell setup we want to look at the weakness to sell and currently we see this is uh, extreme sell TPW now is MHV sell 
so MHV sell on daily time frame on H4 we can see price make a CS AK sell but did not make any CSM sell so we cannot sell this uh, setup but instead what we can do is we want to wait for this to close below the low BB make a pullback and we take that sell to go uh, down okay so now uh, set alert for this one CSM sell Alright, so if you're new to this and wonder where, what is this alert uh, from, this is uh, you can go to indicator. It's a free uh, public indicator that we made. So this is the indicator. Okay, so I will do all these things. So you can use even if you have a free trading view. Alright, so that's it for this week. Uh, our trade plan is rather simple. I think uh, we're gonna have uh, instant sell on GU, and that's it. So again, I wish you all the best for this trading week. Uh, stay safe and be profitable always. Till we meet again next week. Bye bye.